Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, in today's video, I'm out here in the greenhouse um, because I just wanted to answer a question from somebody, uh, a comment on one of my previous YouTube videos. And sorry, in the greenhouse, it gets, when there's a big wind, it gets noisy, the greenhouse plastic flaps, so I apologize for that. But I got a question in, um, on one of my videos about the baby quail and the uh, baby chucker partridges. Um, this incubator that I use, how do I clean it? And um, my method of cleaning it's probably quite a bit different. And this is just the bottom of it. This is the part that gets messy. I don't have the rest of it out here with me. Um, but my method is probably different than most people's method. I'm maybe lazy <laughs> basically what I do when uh, when I'm done the babies are you know I take the, the baby chicks out of here and I put them in the brooder box and I throw throw all of the egg shells and the eggs that didn't hatch away um, what I do is I take this out and uh, like using this uh, seedling table is a perfect place I just sit it out where it'll be sitting in the Sun for three or four days um, and once I leave it out for three or four days then all I do is I take a little bit of pine salt diluted with water and I just spray it around in there like that and hose it out and you can see how clean it comes out there's something about it sitting in the Sun you know I don't know if this uh, styrofoam you know will wear out quicker for laying in the Sun I don't know how UV resistant it is but it makes it super easy to clean it where it looks nice um, because I just leave it in the sun for a couple of days and it, I feel like the sun kind of disinfects it. I don't know, but it just dries it all out. And then when I spray it with uh, with the pine saw, and all I gotta do is ho hose it out. I don't have to scrub it. If, if I don't do that, then I gotta get in there with a you know, uh, a, a scrubber sponge kind of thing. And I get, it's just a lot more work to clean it out. So anyway, I hope that's interesting. If you guys have uh, different kinds of styrofoam um, incubators that you're using and you're wondering how to clean that out, I hope that saves you some time and makes it a little easier for you. So thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, share it on your social media and like the video. Appreciate it. Talk to you in the next video. Thanks.